needed that. Still got to feel, still got to do more to win people over. But that's a win, we needed it. Goodness me, Sunderland. Only Sunderland can have a lot of fans feeling quite apathetic and, and de-energised ahead of this game. And then we somehow ended up winning 3-1, which was, that was a crazy game in a lot of ways. Um, right, first things first. I think the, I've assessed the game in, 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 as an individual circumstance. I felt the players gave a little extra 5-10% that I didn't feel was there last week. And yeah, I stand by that. I felt that against, I felt against Hull we didn't do everything we could have done to win the game. And to a large part that is on Beal and it still doesn't change the bigger picture here that I think Beal does need to go. However, we, I don't want to think that. I want him to win me over and to make me look like an idiot or even more of an idiot than I already do and to prove me wrong. I want him to prove a lot of Sunderland fans wrong. To do that, though, you're going to need to have a run of much better performances. And I thought today was a better performance, even though Stoke, we were lucky Stoke didn't, couldn't finish a barn door. Um, that's not even the phrase, but we, they had chances and we were lucky that they didn't finish them. But we want him to get consistently better performances and then with that, results should come. We want to see that. We want him to prove us wrong and to make us look like morons. We don't want to say, we don't want him to, well, some might, but I don't want him to fail. I've, yeah. I don't want him to fail, but yeah, I just think it still doesn't change the bigger picture, but I'm just enjoy today, because if you can't enjoy a victory, then what the hell is the point in football anymore? Um, but if I was to assess the game, I felt like there was times in, in the game, and maybe this was down to a lack of confidence, where I thought Stoke, we let Stoke press and bully us a little bit too much. I think that, again, we were lucky that Stoke didn't finish chances, because Stoke, for me, even though we scored three goals, had the better chances across the game. Um, <laughs> but... Once we went ahead, you could just tell there was a bit of a lift off the players and second half we started to play a bit more of the way that we're accustomed to playing and we started to have a bit more confidence on the ball, off the ball, in terms of creating chances. Um, and yeah, in fair play, like, you know, if you look at, I mean, the first goal was scrappy from Burstow, but good for him to get a goal. Uh, the second one, I believe Jack, I think it might have been Jack Clark who got the assist for that one. Really good run, good finish from Barr, uh, and obviously Barr got the assist for the first one. And then the third one, decent finish from Equa. So... And by the way, for me, quickly, I thought Barr was my man in the match. Um, I, thought he was, I thought he was really, really good today. But he was really good at Ipswich, and Beal shouldn't have dropped him for the whole game. But in my own opinion, right, we needed that badly. We absolutely needed that result. Um, at, least, at least it lives a bit of pressure off a little bit. Um, but, it's, but, it, but this can't be a one-off. It's got to be the start of a good run. Um, so, yeah, look, as far as the game goes... Uh, yeah, I think Sunderland showed a bit of character towards the end to withstand a little bit of stoke pressure, but, you know... We need to make sure, there's still improvements that need to be made, but it's a good three points. Stoke aren't a bad team and will improve under Steven Schumacher. And very quickly, before I do head off, I'll just have a comment on the Alex Pritchard situation. I think Pritchard with, asking to withdraw from the squad, I think is a little bit throwing his toys out of the pram, a little bit. But, and this is the group, before people disagree with me, listen to the following bit. I do also majority mainly blame the club, and that includes Christian Speakman on this. Um, for me, I think that we have handled Pritchard's contract appallingly, and I think we are, I think the club in general treat him pretty crap to be perfectly honest and I don't blame him if he wants to leave um, if he's going to be treated like garbage but there you go we'll wait and see what happens by next time I speak to you unless of course I'm reviewing deadline day or something like that then by the Borough game deadline uh, transfer window will have finished still need to get a move on and get some plays in the next few days but we'll see what happens look I'm going to head off enjoy the three points still improvements need to be made but enjoy it all the same Thanks very much, guys, um, for helping me get the 5K subscribers. It means a lot. Um, keep going. If, you, if, if, you, if you're watching the video and you're not a regular subscriber and you think I've earned it from you, hit the subscribe button. It'll mean a lot. And like the video. And, of course, comment below as long as it's respectful. Um, but, yeah, take care, everyone. Enjoy the Saturday. And now we're the lads.